been starting a series, and it's entitled Worship With, and then we're going to leave a line there, and we're going to show you how you are required to worship. Today, we're going to talk about worshiping God with, pay attention, your body. Work your body. Work your body. Move your body. I'm sorry. See, I used to feel guilty for that. I don't anymore. So listen, so if you go to New Life, we stand on five pillars. This is who we are, and this is what we do. And you must understand who we are. So when you step in here, you step into this culture. What is the culture? This is a word church. This is why every time we preach, we put the scriptures on the screen. We try to put up more word than we put up opinion. There's some people, they never crack the Bible. You're not going to live off of a quote from man. You're not going to live off of a good saying. You need Bible. You need word. You ready? This is a praying church. We have prayer every second, every fourth Tuesday at 4 a.m. We do prayer on the nine. We do prayer at the beach. Well, this is a praying church. We word with prayer. We worship. We worship God. You don't worship man. You don't worship me. I am not your God. I don't deliver. I don't heal. I don't make ways. We give God all the glory. Come on here. So we believe in worship. Every year for the last, two, the church will be 20 years old in March. We take one month and we stop and we say, hey guys, let's teach you worship again. Because we want to make sure that you stay up on your worship. You got to hear me. So we're worried, we're worship, we're prayer, we're outreach. We believe in getting out of the four walls of the church and meeting the needs outside. Then we're community development. We believe that we're the salt of the earth. We believe that wherever, we, wherever God put us, we put a flag in the ground and we change the community. Come on, lean in for one minute. Community development, my next desire is to go down 76th Street, 75th, 79th Street and change it. I need you to hear me. I want to feel like we're on the north side. I want to be able to sit outside and eat. I want to go shopping in my community. Every block can't be a liquor store. Come on here. Come on, y'all. Come on. So this is who we are. And this is what we do. So let's talk about worship. Worship is a verb. It is an action. You cannot say you're a worshiper and we never see anything. We never hear anything. Because any, when it comes to worship, we must see it or hear it, or we're going to see it and hear it. And watch me. And you, everybody in the sound of my voice, he created you to worship. He doesn't make you worship him, but he invites you to worship him. All right? And with your body. I'm going to show you what I mean. Let's, let's back it up with Scripture. I never want to say anything and not back it up with Scripture. If you look at the screen, I can show you where he invites us to use our bodies for worship. In Psalms 95 and 6, it says, come. That's an invitation. Let us. That's corporate. That's corporate. When you come in here, there should be more participators than spectators. He says, come. Let us use your body and do what? And bow down in worship. Do it come? Let us, if you got good knees, come on here, and kneel before the Lord our maker. If you can't kneel, you got to move your body. You have a responsibility to move your body. It is his breath in your lungs. He's given you the activity activities of your limbs how dare you just sit in his house and not give him any response whatsoever don't tell me it's in my mind no boo move it out your mind put it in your hand wave your hand I mean do something ready now I want you, you create an atmosphere for everyone under the sound of my voice you can have a need watch me you don't just come in here because you need him but you have to invite him to come in your section. 
Bible. Let's go Bible. In Mark, we're going to look at when a Pharisee invites, invites Jesus into his house. His name is Simon. He literally invites Jesus into his house. When he invites him in, if you study this, it's in Mark, it's in Luke, it says Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Watch me. He didn't just invite Jesus, he invited other Pharisees to come into his house. Can I show you? In, 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 in Luke 7 and 36, when one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to do what? To have dinner with him. He went to the Pharisee's house. Now, I want to show you something about Pharisees because Pharisees remind me somewhat of the religious community. Mm -hmm. Can I give you this four facts about the Pharisees? Bring it up on the screen. Number one, they believe in Scripture. They literally studied the law. They believe in Scripture, but they were struggling with Christ. Number two, they studied this thing. And they took a little pride because they knew Scripture. Hmm. Have you ever seen some of these people who take pride in how much Scripture that they know? Hmm. Come on, we're going to talk in a few more minutes. Number three, here's a line. They followed the traditions of their fathers, and they were not open to anything new. They only wanted the traditions. You know how some of you all are. Where's the deacon board? Where does the mother's board sit? You want the traditions. Where's the communion table that we covered up with a sheet and we act like don't nobody know what's up under that sheet? Y'all ain't gonna say that to me? Where are the nurses of this church? Why come they don't have on their white stockings all year long with a white earth walkers with a nursing hat on their head. The only thing they walk around with are mints. Look at me. You want the tradition. You want the choir to marching, singing, we're marching up to Zion. You find criticism when it comes to a praise team because all you want is the choir. Oh, y'all ain't going to say that to me. You are stuck on tradition. Why the choir don't have on no robes? How come they don't have a uniform? Do they pay choir dues? How come y'all don't have communion on first Sunday? Aren't you supposed to have communion? Who, where is that found in the Bible? Bible, that the only time that we could recognize his death, his burial, and his resurrection is on first Sunday. Some of y'all sitting here right now, you struggling because you seeing women coming in with pants on. You see men that have on hat the blood of Jesus. Yep, the blood, the blood. When you finish pleading the blood, you have turned his house into a gated community. And you only look at those that look like you, talk like you, act like you, and you're walking around here thinking that you better than anybody oh y'all ain't gotta say nothing to me i need you to just look at you and say hey 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 i'm here for god and him alone let's talk let's talk number four the fourth fact about them they are they are watch this they are the largest conservative group at their time i'm looking at some of y'all everybody give me your attention let me show you how disrespectful you are. Even while I'm preaching, you're on your phone, and I know you're not reading scripture, you're on Facebook, you're on Instagram. And I'm up here trying to teach you how to worship your God. And while I'm trying to teach you how to worship your God, you telling God, hold on one minute, I gotta look at my, I gotta check my inbox. Oh, uh, y'all ain't gotta say nothing to me. You're so disrespectful. You're so disrespectful. You must be one of them Pharisees. Fair, you see? Fair, receives. Watch me, they are a gated community and they only hang with each other. They only deal with each other. They don't deal with people who don't look like them, who don't talk like them, who don't act like them. As a matter of fact, they are considered to be sinners. And here, he invites the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings, the great I am, to come into his house. You invited him. And then you invite all your punk friends. The rest of them fair receives to come and see who Jesus is. Ooh. 
and you create the atmosphere and you create the atmosphere. He only goes where there's a need. You invited me, but I see you really need me. You invited me and I see there's something going on in your life that you can't share with everybody. But man, look at the outward appearance, but I see your heart. And I see, I'm not just coming just to, just to sit in your house, because wherever I come, I bring healing. Wherever I come, I bring deliverance. Wherever I come, I bring joy. Wherever I come, I bring peace. But it's up to you, it's up to you to create the atmosphere. It's up to you to create the the atmosphere. Can I show you what the house gave him? So the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings come in and he's sitting there. Can we talk and watch me? What did they, what did Simon and his friends do? Bible, go to the 36th verse. He went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. He's sitting there. Watch me. Touch your name and say, your healing is here. Let somebody say, your joy is here. Come on, reach up with somebody and say, your peace is here. Come on here. Come on, touch somebody and say, your next opportunity is here. The author and the finisher of your faith is here. Come on here. The one who could fix your house is here. The one who could do your body is here. The one who could make a way out of nowhere is here. The joy is here. Hey. So he comes in and he just sitting there. He's sitting there. He's sitting there. And we find out later how he handles him. Can I show you in verse 48? He says, hey, Simon, hey, Simon, I came in your house and you did not give me any water for my feet. Why does he need water? Watch me. The tradition is when you come into somebody's house, look at me, they had um, sandals that had a soil with straps. So when they walk, their feet were dirty. When they come in your house, you know how some of y'all take your shoes off. Take your shoes. Don't, don't walk on my house. Uh -uh. So what they would do back then is they would always provide water, provide. Touch and say, you have to provide it. <laughs> they would provide water to wash their feet. He said, I came into your house and you didn't even kiss me. What does that mean? They would place one hand on a shoulder. This is how they greeted each other. And then they would lean in and kiss. That's their way of saying hello. And in our community, what up though? <laughs> so we give water. And we, he, said, he said, then I came into your house and you didn't even give me any oil, any oil for my head. Look at me. What is that? So what they would offer is, see, you, you didn't take an Uber or a Lyft. You walked so you more than likely you were sweating. So they would take some oil. It was like uh, to make you feel a little fresh. In other words, they would Febreze you. <laughs> Just a little Febreze. Because your roll on might have rolled off. Your right guard might have gone left. Or you were secret, it might have been told. Look at here. So we want to make sure you smell right because we don't want you offending anybody. He said, I came into your house and you played me. You didn't give me any water. You played me. You didn't even kiss me. You played me. You did not even give me any oil. So what are you doing? You just sitting here. You just looking around. You just, you just watching everything. And some of y'all, you're not doing anything because you worried about how they going to look at you. You worried about how, what they going to say about you. Look at me. They looking at, they talking about you anyway. So you should just give them something to talk about. Y'all ain't going to say nothing to me. You just sitting here. You just looking and you're just watching. You just sitting here. You can't into his house you so disrespectful oh you so disrespectful yeah you gonna come in his house gathered in his name and not even reach for him oh but you worried about you so busy speaking to people that you have not even acknowledged him you so busy trying to get to your friend 
that you can't give God any glory. Can I tell you something? I wish, see, that's like I'm, I'm careful who I sit next to because I don't want to sit next to a fair receipt. Uh-huh. I don't even want to be next to one of you sad, you see. <laughs> but I want to sit next to somebody who knew I had to go through hell to get here. I had, listen, my week been hell all week and I couldn't wait to come into his house. And you think I'm going to care about what you think? You think I want to, you, if I give God glory, what you going to do? You going to put me out of your little gated community? I wish I would. I need you to check out who's around you. Ask your neighbor. I need you to do something and let him know he's welcome up in here. Can you do something? something can you can you lift your hands can you come on let's talk have a seat have a seat they're just sitting they're just watching they're just listening they're just sitting they're just watching they're just listening they're just sitting 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 they're just watching they're just watching they're just watching trying to see what you got on they're just watching just watching they're just listening because ain't nobody talking to them they nosy they're just sitting they're just watching and they're just listening just so disrespectful this is so but don't forget he only comes where there's a need and the Pharisees are so busy gathering. So you got to be careful that church does not become a part of your schedule. <laughs> that you make God feel that you're doing him a favor. Oh, no, boo. No, that ain't how he roll up in here. I would enter into his gates. Oh, y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. So let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Ready? Ready? So they're just sitting, they're just watching, and they're just listening. And they playing Jesus, man. Ooh, this, watch me, even in a natural state, watch me, in a natural state, if you go to court right now, before the judge come in, they'll say, we need to acknowledge this flesh that sits in a seat of authority. All right. No, because you can't just sit in his courtroom. If you don't stand up, the guard will come and tap you on your shoulder. Oh, y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. Some of you all came from organizations. When the bishops came in, they would line up, and before they could walk in, they said, hold on, cut this song off. Everybody stand to your feet. Because the bishops are about to come in. And you begin to acknowledge their presence. So you're going to do that for flesh. You do all that for a natural judge or a natural bishop. But when it comes to him, tired, I'm tired. Mm. He ought to be glad I'm even here. Who you talking to? Woo! Who you think you talking to? No, you ought to be glad you here because you should be dead in a grave. <laughs> so let me show you. Ready? Have a seat. So y'all ain't going to bust a move, huh? You're going to keep sitting there, huh? You're just going to keep sitting there? It's going to keep sitting there. It's going to keep sitting there, huh? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Now, there's a woman who wasn't invited. There's a woman that wasn't invited. She's not a part of the clique. There's a woman that's outside that just heard he inside. And she didn't get an invitation. I want to thank God for everybody that didn't invite you. I want to thank God for everybody that didn't hold you a seat. 
I want to thank God for everybody that told you, no, you can't sit here. Uh, you ain't, I ain't got to sit next to you. I'm already in the building. You could put me in a corner. Yeah. Come on, let's talk. Let's talk. So ain't nobody going to say nothing? Ain't nobody going to do nothing? Everybody just, oh, Simon, your party is boring. Everybody just sitting up in here looking at country or something. I can't stand a dead church. I don't like going in a place that is just tight. I can't stand being in a place. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? And if somebody stand up, everybody go like, we had to call security. <laughs> so there's a woman who on the outside, who has not been invited, who don't look like them, who don't talk like them, who don't act like them. She is totally different. She is what I call a radical worshiper. She doesn't, we don't know her name. You don't need to know my name. You are gonna see my praise. You don't need to know my title. You ain't, I don't need a title. You gonna smell what I'm about to release up in here in a few more minutes. Oh, I'm about to change the atmosphere. I'm about to change the temperature. That's like I tell you, look down your row and find out who the set it off person is. Cause one person can set deliverance on the whole row. One person can turn a whole section. <laughs> We don't sit all the way back. We sit on the edge of our seat waiting on an opportunity to get. Ready? Come on, come on, come on. Have a seat, 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 have a seat. Let's just read what she did. Let's just read. And I'll explain it later. Let's just read her. Let's just read her. Let's just read her. Let's just read her. Let's just read. Let's just read. Miss set it off. <laughs> Let's just read. Miss set it off. Let's just read it. Let's just read it. It's for some of y'all, this should be your narrative. A woman in that town who lived a sinful life. Shut up. How do they know that? Because she got a little reputation. How she looked, you could tell she ain't got it right. I thought I smelled Patron when she walked past me. <laughs> Look at here. It's a simple answer. But she learned. She wasn't invited. She just heard that he was hanging out at 7621 South Greenwood. <laughs> and that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So she came there. And she didn't just come empty-handed either. She ran and got her alabaster jar full of perfume because something just told me they didn't handle him right. And I want to make sure that what I need, he going to be handled right when it come to me. They, 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 didn't get, they didn't give him no water. I didn't know that. I just feel like they didn't handle him right. Because I know them. They're too much into themselves. I know them. They're too much looking at each other. I know them. They're trying to dress to impress. They're trying to be somebody that I know they ain't. <laughs> So she went from outside to inside. How she got in, I don't know. And she came, now she did, and here she is standing behind him at his feet. And when she's standing there, watch me, she is weeping. Somebody say, why is she weeping? Because she realized, <laughs> I shouldn't even be here. <laughs> and I'm just gripping, watch me. These are, these are not tears of sorrow. These are tears of joy. What about shy? Everybody that cry isn't going through depression. Everybody that well up is not sad. Somebody is crying because when I look back over my life and I think things. Somebody crying because they say I should have been dead and gone. Don't try to interpret my tears without talking to me. Didn't nobody die. I'm not sad. But when I think of the goodness. Don't forget she lived a sinful life. 
So sin is death. And I shouldn't even be here. Is there anybody in the building that knows that you shouldn't be here? You're not here because you're that good. Your goodness is as filthy rags. She stood behind him weeping. Here's the line that messed me up. And she began to wet his feet. In other words, she's directing her tears. She's leaning forward to make sure that her tears fall on his feet. She is a focused worshiper. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Then she was an affectionate worshiper. She kissed his feet. Ooh, she's showing him some affection. We had a boxer, a dog, y'all. And Sasha, a boxers are very affectionate dogs. If you sit down, they'll just come and lean up on you. And you try to ignore them, they start going up and down your leg like, huh? 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 She's basically telling Jesus, you don't even have to tell me. I shouldn't be here. And I know they playing you, so let me just love on you. I'm not going to even say nothing. I'm not going to open my mouth. I just want to love on you. And then she did something. She opened up the perfume and just started pouring it because it was a stale place. And she began to release a scent in the atmosphere. And everybody's like, what's your smell? Somebody, somebody didn't get some perfume up here. Can I tell you something? That's what your worship be, should be like. We should be able to sense that a worshiper is in the building. Come on here. You, 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 you. Okay. Woo. Woo. So the Pharisees are sitting there, and she basically, body all over the place. Just, just, look. everybody else look like they got it together. Not me. I am broken when I come in his presence. I don't hold it together. I don't have it together. I'm going to give him everything I got. And that's what some of y'all, you have on an outfit. That, can I tell you something? Never wear something that you can't get down in. Never put something on you that you can't let God know how much you love him. I, I know you got on a GG. What did GG say for God's grace? Come on here. Because I shouldn't even be in the building. I want you to see who's in your section. Just look to your right and your left. Uh, and ask them what you got, 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 what you got. Come on, y'all, put it on them. Ask them what you got, 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 what you gonna do, what you gonna do, what you gonna do, what you gonna do. You gonna sit here? No, I'm not gonna sit here. I I I I need to give I need to, I need I, 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 I need I, I, I need to let him know he's loved. I need to let him know he's appreciated. I need to acknowledge his presence. I need to lift him up. I need to magnify him. Come on, y'all. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you five seconds to express your appreciation, your gratitude, your affection, your love. If you don't want anything, just sit there. But I need you to. I give you five seconds. Five. Four. Three, two, yay, glory. glory, glory. Come on, let's break it down some more. Let's break it down some more. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Have a seat for a minute. I got to break it down a little bit more. Because this, this got to be worship one-on-one. -on -one. It's got to be worship one-on-one. -on -one. Have a seat. Have a seat. So, so let me show what she did. Bring it up. Let me show what she did. With her feet, she walked. Uh-uh. Bring it up. What she did with her body. With her feet, she walked into his presence. With her eyes, she identified who he was. With her legs, she knelt before him. Oh my God. With her hands, she reached for him. And then she began to wash his feet. With her tears, she washed his feet. With her hair, with her hair, with her hair, she dried his feet. 
she dried his feet. Don't get your hair done on Saturdays. Don't get your hair done on Saturdays. Get it done on Thursdays so you can have a couple of cute days. Because when I come in here, all this coming down. I don't care about no half style. You can't watch me. Don't wear no eyelashes if you don't want to give God glory. Look here. Take it off. Nobody got time to be playing with you. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Don't come in here with no sharp sneakers on. Tell me I don't want to get them dirty. Then you better come in here barefooted. You better come in here to give God everything he has. Nothing is off limits when it comes to me giving God glory. I don't care about no suit. I lay in the floor in my suit. I don't care about no shoes. Ready? Look at me. Have a seat. Have a seat. We're almost there. Let's go. Look at me. 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 Well, I don't know what to do. I'm going to help you. Look at me. 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 I'm going to teach you that, uh, but doing nothing is not an option. Just coming up in here. Look at me. Look at me. Come in here and say, well, I I went to church today. Did you? Well, what did you give them? I'm not talking about your money right now either. Because some of y'all think that you could buy a blessing. Let me help you out. <laughs> yeah. You ready? You got to get me. So I'm going to show you different things that you could do. And as long as you have breath in your body, as long as you have the activities of your limbs, you can stand, you can kneel, you can walk, don't go on it, you can run, but open your eyes. You could dance. Some of y'all don't, some of y'all don't know how to do, I've seen people just be like, hey. You can lay prostrate on the floor. You can clap your hands. You can raise your hands. You can wave your hands. You can shout with your voice. You can sing with your voice. You can speak well of him. You can pray to your God. Now my question is, look at the list. Out of everything that is on that list, what on the list at least can you say I can do for God? To look at the list and do nothing is not an option. Look at the list. Look at the list. Look at the list. Now whatever you see on the list that you can do, Pick your what you want to do and give it to God. Go, 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 go. You're about to get his attention. You're about to get his attention. He's about to look in your direction. Give it to him unapologetically you don't have to explain it either but doing nothing is not an option you are without excuse what you got what you got what you got He's about to look at you. He's about to speak to you. He's about to come in your direction. Ready? Everybody stand. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. You'll never see when she opened her mouth. You'll never see when she opened her mouth. All she did was do her body language. All she did was use her body. Watch me. And the next thing you know, he looks at her. Before he looks at her, he could, he could pick up what Simon was saying. If he, if he was a prophet, he would know what kind of woman that was. And he turned to Simon and said, how dare you? How dare you judge her? I came to your house. You didn't give me no water. I came to your house. You didn't kiss me. I came to your house and you didn't give me any oil. And you're going to look at her? And you're going to look at her? Let me tell you something about her. Watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. Without her even asking, he turned to her and he gave her the benefits of her worship. He gave her the benefits. In verse 48, he says, your sins, your sins your sins what's been keeping you up at night what's been making you cry what's been
making you act out of character? What's been, what's been troubling you? Your lifestyle been getting the best of you. So let me move that out of the way. And for some of y'all, watch me. This ain't about no house. This is not about a car. This is not about a position. This is to deal with your inward issues. How you, what's me? You cannot come in his presence and do this and stay depressed. You cannot come into his presence and do this and remain sad. There's something about when you start getting in worship, he ring you above all the hell you going through. He relocates you to the point that the enemy can't put his hands on you. But you cannot, watch me, watch me, your worship gets his attention. He looked at her. He looked at her. Okay, okay. That I need everybody's attention. Please, listen. ready, ready? Come on, I need to show you the benefits. Ready? Watch me, watch me, watch me. Here's it is. What's your worship? What, her body, her body. Go to the next one. Her body in worship demands the attention of Christ. Her body, her, her worship, her worship demands Christ. Christ was like, I want you to make God neck snap. <laughs> watch me. Her body in worship got her answers to her unspoken prayers. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Her body in worship, because when he said your sins are forgiven, he just pulled you close, because your sin is what kept you separated. So now in your worship, you just got closer to God. Is there anybody in the building that know I need a closer walk with the Lord? Is there anybody in the building that I need him to walk with me in my home, on my job, in my community? Her worship, 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 in her body in worship, started, 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 started look at me, look at me, started a new chapter, a new chapter which means that your worship make God turn the page give you a clean slate and let the author and the finish of your faith say, now let, let's write down your new chapter watch me, watch me, watch me and it all come from and you mean to tell me I can get that watch me, see, see some of y'all so busy waiting on somebody to lay hands on you Please amen. Some of y'all so busy waiting on somebody to call you out and give you a prophetic word. You got to hear me. You got to hear me. This is how we've created monsters in the church because we worship them and we wait on them to put their hands on us. We wait on them to give us a word. We wait on them to tell us that we're okay. But I would rather have God touch me than I want you preachers to lay your hands on me. I would rather have God speak directly to my inward situation. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Bring my list back up. 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 What you got? What you got? Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. So uh, I've been saved since I was 17. And when I was in my teen years and in my 20s, I began to look at some of the older saints. And I saw how the older saints would just sit in God's house and barely move. I saw them become so comfortable in God that they hardly ever lifted their voices. I would weep in my teen years and in my 20s. And I said, God, can you please protect my heart? Can you please protect my passion? Never let me feel like somebody got to pump me and prime me to give you glory. Never, never, never. And what's your question? Some of you all have become too comfortable. You have become too common. You've become too relaxed in this house. And you got the audacity to look at new people when they come in. Well, can I see something? But they praise is louder than yours. They heart, you might smell weed, but they don't like what they doing and want to be delivered from what they doing. But you walk around full of pride and don't feel guilty about it. You you've gotten cliques, organizations in the house of God. You come in here looking for your friends. You walk past people. You got something to say about everybody. You gotta hear me. Some of y'all, this is a check. When's the last time you laid on the floor? Ever since you got a little tighter, you ain't been on the floor lately. Hey, 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 praise team. Can you worship God without a mic? <laughs> or the only time we gonna see you with your hands is if you're on the stage. You got to look at me. Hey, preachers, hey, preachers, 
Hey, preachers. Hey, pastors. When's the time, last time you got on your face? When's the last time your church saw you go down? You want to know who the real worship leader is? Because like priests, like people. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Tell me what you got. Watch me, watch me. If you give us nothing, look at me. If you give us nothing, then we refer to you like Eli's sons. That's called Old Testament. Eli was a priest. He had two sons named Hophni and Phinehas. When the people would bring their offerings and put it in the pot, they never put anything in. They never put anything in. They will only come and take. Some of us are takers, not givers. When the anointed come in, oh, now you want to get in, but you didn't help us bring them in. Now you want to sink your fork in the pot. Look at me. Now you're like, okay, God, now heal me too. No, boo. Everybody listen to this, and I'm done. Look, listen to this. The sons of Belial, I'm sorry, the sons of Eli were called the sons of Belial. The word Belial means worthless. Which means that you could be in the house of God and be worthless. You look good, but you don't have any worth. You carry no weight in the spirit realm. <laughs> so, so why are you doing this this morning? Because I got to urge you. I got to urge you, listen, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. This is not my house. This ain't my house. I don't heal people. Look at me. I don't deliver people. Look at me. When you at home by yourself in the midnight hour, Pastor Hannah's not there going to be there to wipe your tears away. You can't tell everybody all your business because everybody ain't going to understand. You can't reveal your secrets. So I'm urging you. I'm urging you. Please. 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 When you do this, you don't do this for me to see you. When you do this, you don't do this for nobody to see you. You get his attention. Okay, I am giving this, I am giving this everything I got. Like, I am like sweating up a stone. I am like, I'm so ready to come out this jacket. I'm like, listen, cuz, listen, 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 cuz y'all skin me. You all are skin me. Look at me. I don't care nothing about this beautiful building. I don't care nothing about these lights. I don't care nothing about this stage. What is a building without its glory? I don't care nothing about no individual. You can leave this church. You can stop doing whatever you're doing. But God, whatever you do, don't take your spirit away from us. Don't let your glory leave this building. I need him. 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 So all month, me and Pastor Glenn are going to do this for you. Romans 12, look at the screen. Therefore, therefore, I urge you, I urge you, I urge you, I urge you. I'm pushing you, I'm pushing you, my brothers and my sisters, in view, in view, in view, in view of God's mercy. I need you to look at how merciful he's been to you. You should 
shouldn't even be here. You should have been in your grave, but because of the mercy of God, you should have been counted an outcast a while ago, but because of the mercy of God, I need you to get people out of your view, but I need you to put the mercy of God in your view. How dare you let any individual get in your view that you can't see God's mercy, and he's worthy of all the glory. He's worthy of all the praise. I need you to get view of God's mercy. You should have died an alcoholic. You should have died when you got divorced. You should have lost your mind. You've been in some dangerous situation. You went to bed at night, but his grace and his mercy covered you. He covered your kids. He covered your house. He covered your automobile. God's been good. So I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it from you. I'm not going to take it from you. I'm not. I'm not going to take it. I'm going to need you to offer. I'm going to need you to offer. Offer your bodies. Offer your bodies. Don't tell me when I get to heaven, I'm going to praise God. No. He, He looking at you down here. Offer your body. Offer your body. Can't nobody pay you to do what you do. This ain't about no money. This is in view of God's mercy. Offer your body as a living sacrifice. Holy. How do you know how to get holy? You stay under the blood. Because when he look at you, he don't see you in your unrighteousness. He see you under the blood. So you can lift up holy hands before God. And when he look at your hands, he see his blood on your hands. And it's not pleasing to man. It is pleasing to God. This, my brothers and my sisters, is your true. Stop. You can't fake worship. (laughs) I'm so sick of hearing world of people. I'm living in my truth. So am I. So am I. By presenting my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. So am I. This is your true, it is, and that's your proper worship. So what's improper? To do nothing. So when we have corporate worship, you, you, you ain't going to do nothing. You, 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 you just going to sit here and look at us? Wait, 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 everybody look at me. Now some of y'all, you wrong. He, he, told, he told Simon, look at this woman. He said, let me tell you why her worship is so radical. Based upon how much your sins are and how much had to be forgiven you, your worship is more radical. Wait. So if you know he brought you out of some stuff. I know, wait, 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 wait. Now look at me, look at me. See, he, he saved me, he saved me at 17. So certain things I've never done, I've never... I I, I smoked a little weed. I did do that. (laughs) Never been drunk. Never lived in fornication. Never lived in adultery. Never, I I, I don't have certain, never been to jail. I never had tragic stuff. Never, none of that. Never been, no, 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 you understand? So he kind of kept me. He's been a keeping God. So, so watch me. But some of y'all, you've been to hell and back. Look, look, I don't, I, I don't even want to do what you did. Look, look, look. I have no regrets. 
Some of y'all, you've been that. Some of y'all, you were trifling. You were hard-headed. You were rebellious. You did everything and anything. Couldn't nobody tell you what to do. You were sleeping around with everybody. He didn't let you catch nothing. Okay, let's go here. He, I mean, you, you, you were stealing. He didn't let you get caught. You was a criminal. You was an underground criminal. He didn't expose your behind. He didn't let you get caught up. You were running around in some things that you know that you shouldn't have been in. He even covered you, didn't let him in. But you know what he brought you out of. And based upon what he brought you out of, your praise is supposed to be bigger than mine. Show me what you're working with. Show me what you're working with. Everybody that was in a bad relationship and God delivered you out of the hand of the enemy. Everybody that ever had a soul tie. Everybody that ever used any kind of substance. Everybody that was an habitual liar. Everybody that know that you were crooked and mean as the devil. Everybody that know that the devil had a grip on your life. I need you to open your mouth. Come get this. Get that. Get that. I'm looking. I'm looking, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. As a shepherd of a house, as a shepherd of the house, it is my responsibility to come in and check temperatures. I have to check the temperature. And I'm, as I check temperatures, I'm watching how some of you all, I'm watching your worship decrease. I'm watching some of y'all get upset over stuff. And that stuff is affecting your worship. I'm watching some of y'all. I saw you before you got married. I knew you before you had kids. And I've seen your marriage and your kids decrease your worship. But your worship is what gave you the marriage. Your worship is how you got your kids. I'm watching some of y'all. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I saw you go from nothing. I, I remember when you didn't have a house. I remember when you were written in out of a studio apartment. I remember when you had to ask somebody to drop you off. I remember you catching a bus, catching Uber, all of that. And I'm watching you ever since you got this little job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw you lose your weight too. I saw, I saw you. Oh, you done dropped 20 pounds. You fine now. Nah. But your worship is ugly. You want to know why he keep blessing me? Because I move all my blessings out the way. I don't care nothing about how I look. I don't care about what nobody say about me. I go to churches and preach, and I'm in, the, I'm in the pulpit with all bishops, and they all sitting there looking deep. I be like, oh, God. And when the choir starts singing, I jump up like, yes! And the bishops are looking at me like, you can sit there if you want to. But when I think about how good God been to me when I think I shouldn't even be here when I think about how he gave me a roof over my head when I think about how he's been the keeper of my soul anybody that the devil almost killed you owe him what you got, what you got. I'm gonna put some security things out there. We're gonna start scanning you, 
to see if you got a worship in you to see if you got a hallelujah in you to see if you got a hand raised on you So let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. The stage, the stage, we don't stand on this stage to bring you to us. We clear the stage to point you to him. This ain't about me. You gotta hear me. This praise scene, it is not about a praising, not a band, not, no, 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 you understand, you, we are only instruments. I'm sick of personalities. I'm sick of important people. I give myself away. I back up so that Jesus can be the center of attention. We back up. Ooh, we about to do something that nobody walk. Cause I'm about, I'm about to do something that I just gotta obey. Hey Tyler, do me a favor. Turn all the lights out. Make it as dark as you can get it in this building. Make it as dark as you can get it in this building. Turn the stage light off too. See now, Jabari. I give myself away. Give myself away so you can you everybody say I give myself away I give myself away so you come on church we don't have to see you we need to hear you give myself Come on, online. You don't need to see us. You need to hear us. I give myself away so you can use me. Everybody say. I give myself away. Yeah. I give it all to you. I give myself away so you Here I am to worship. Everybody take your cell phone out and turn your light on. You got your light on, God is looking at your worship. Come on, say, here I am.
is not an option I love you I love you Lord today come on let's let's show some affection to God you ready I love you I love you tell him I love you Lord today y'all sing because I need to hear the church such a special way that's why, that's why I, I lift you up, you up and I magnify. <laughs> that is why my heart is filled with breath. Let's tell the Lord, close your eyes and say this. My heart, my mind, my soul. My, my heart, my mind. My soul belongs to you. You paid the price for me. You paid the price for me. Way back on Calvary. Way back on Calvary. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. I lift you up. And I magnify. And I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. What you hear? I've been through too much now to worship him. Everybody say I've been through too much. Tyler, you can bring the lights back up. To worship him. Everybody say too much now. To worship him. I've been through too much. Come on and testify. Everybody lift your hands and go on your own for two seconds. You got to do something. But doing nothing is not an option. Come on, pour your love out on him. Everybody move your body in any kind of way and just begin to release it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, my young people. Those that are teenagers and in your 20s, I need your energy to match your age. You are the of it all. 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 You are the of it all, son. You are the of it all. You are the of it all. You are the of it all. So I lift my hands. You are the of it all. You are the of it all. We bow in your presence. You are the of it all. We bow in your presence. You are the of it all. We realize you didn't have to do what you 
redeem you are you worthy of it all. But because you're good, you're worthy of it all. You're perfect in all your ways, you're worthy of it all. No one else can receive the glory, you are. No one else can receive the praise, you are. We lift up your holy name, you're worthy of it all. We give you all the praise, you're worthy of it all. Everybody lift your hands, do me a favor, even cut the music, musicians get off of your instruments and move your bodies. Come on, I'll give you a few more seconds. Come on, your worship will get it off of you. Your worship will answer your unspoken prayers. Worship breaks stress. Worship relieves you of grief. Come on, it's your moment. Have a moment. Have a moment with your God. Oh, I even see flags in the balcony. People are just waving their banners of victory. Oh. Oh. Hey, intercessors, can you pray that God lock a sound in this house? Oh. Glory to God. Come on, we want to get these souls in a few minutes. But I feel like we owe the Lord a standing ovation. <laughs> Here I am at the top of another month, about to enter into another season. Everybody do me a favor, stand to your feet and get ready to give God the biggest applause and cheer that you could ever imagine. In the first Sunday of September, we release a praise to you, oh God, and it is directed to you. On the count of three, release it. One, two, three, go!
Come on, get lost in it. I hear the Lord telling me to tell some of y'all, go into the deep. You can go further in your praise. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Clap your hands once more right here and give God a praise right there. Go, go. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. And you deserve the praise. Everybody go above whatever you're going through. And open your mouth and say, you deserve the glory. You got to rise above your hell. You got to go above your trial. You got to go above your situation. You can't let nothing stop you from giving God glory. Yay! Get under the bullshit, King. Ho! Release your praise. Come on, there's a breaking in here. Nobody has to lay hands on you. Your body's being healed right now. Your mind is being regulated. Your stress is being lifted. Your peace is being released. Yay! Some of y'all are a little behind on your praise. You all got a little bit more than that. You've been dragging. You've been complaining. You've been murmuring. He said, I need your praise to outrun your complaint. Come on, he's your lawyer. He's going to defend you. He's your doctor. He's going to heal you. He's your friend. He's going to counsel you. He's your lover. He's going to comfort you. He's your counselor. He's going to talk to you. But you got to give me something to work with. Let me get the altar if you don't mind. But I need everybody to find you another worshiper say. Come on, identify yourself. Grab their hand and say, hello. I'm a worshiper. Hello. I'm a worshiper. My praise is my testimony my praise will tell you what I've been through my praise will tell you what I'm going through because I praise my way out of it oh say under the bar look at a smile just came on my face I don't know who I'm talking to but I hear the Lord say, I'm about to break the spirit of grief off of you. I'm trying to get it together. I don't know what you came to do. But I came to lift him up higher. Everybody in your 30s, your 20s, and below, 
I need to hear your praise right here. Go. That's what you got? That's what you got? That's the teenagers of 20s and those in their 30s. You done? Our turn. Everybody 40 and older. Everybody that's been through the fire. Everybody that's been through the storm and the rain. Everybody that got some years under your belt. Release your praise right here. Go! Ho! That's for the rent you paid. Ho! That's for the hand you healed me with. Ho! Bring that every week. That's for the time the devil tried to kill you. That's for the time he walked you to the valley in the shadow of death. That's for every time you were sick in your body and he healed you. That's from the relationship he got you out of. Let me stop. Let me get the altar. Can y'all let me get the altar? Let me call souls. Oh my God. Look at him. I say, he done so much for me. I can't even tell it all. Look at somebody and say, he brought me from a long ways off. Look at somebody and say, I get joy when I think about what the Lord has done for me. Look at somebody and say, you can't tell it. Let me tell it. Oh, come on, Brooke Cox. Find your place back on the altar. Yay! Joy bells ringing down in my soul. Everybody tell God, lock a praise in me. Put that thing in the depth of my soul. That whatever I'm going through, let me let this be my secret weapon. We got to get big souls, y'all. Come on, one more time. Clap your hands and release a praise. Yeah. This is how I made it. This is how I got where I am. This is what delivered me out of the hand of the enemy. This is how I kept my mind. This is how I didn't backslide. This is how I always win. This is how I get out of hell. This is how I get delivered out of temptation. Look 
praise the name and say, what you got? What you got? I got a praise. I got a praise and I got to get it now. High five somebody and tell them, God's been good to us. Someone here, I came to get you. I came to get you. You like the woman that just showed up, but it's your day. There are, it's the Lord of Music a little bit. There are about eight of you in this building. Man. There are eight of you in this building that God sent you here. You're not here for me, but you need God. He knows the secrets of your inner parts. And he said, I came to get you today. If you know I'm talking to you, don't make me beg you. Get out of your seat and walk towards me like it's an emergency, like you cannot go another second, another day, another hour without God. Come and stand right here. Come stand right here. Yeah. Come stand right here. Come stand right here. Come on, they're still coming. 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 Yeah. What am my Sunday? Yeah, yando. Hey, 
Masanda. Oh, ba, 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 ba. You made it out of the clutches of the enemy. Oh, Sheteroso. souls out of here. Come on, Eric. Do me a favor. Turn around. Follow this gentleman right here. Follow him. Have a seat, y'all, please. Have a seat. Come on, Danny. Have a seat, everybody. God, I want every Sunday in the month of September to go higher and higher. Let praise be so heavy in this building that we can barely walk up in here. Put a praise in the spirit and in the belly of every individual. And when we come in, we're ready to release our praise. Have a seat for one minute. Come on, Danny. Okay. Come here, he's just been good. And that's the least I could do is give him worship and praise. I want us to get ready with our tithes, with our offering. Listen, so I was studying this on movement and I looked at what's called a wave offering. A wave offering is when they would take a piece of a sacrifice and they would literally put it in their hand and they would wave it before the Lord. It was their sacrifice. I want us to give our tithes, but listen to me. Normally I'd be like, can you give 20, 23, 40? I'm not going to tell you, but I want everybody to get a wave offering in your hand. So, well, how much should I give? I'm going to let you decide that much. But I'll tell you this, to whom much is given, much is required. I believe that in three services, there are three of us that he's telling us to give him, this is not for everybody, a thousand dollars. Who are you? I'm not gonna ask you to identify yourself publicly because what you do is secret. He's gonna reward you publicly. And if you only giving it for somebody to see you, then I need you to keep it. (laughs) 
but I don't know who you are that he's telling you that your wave offering will be a thousand and you will reap an amazing increase everyone else get the best seeds you can in your hand it's gonna be your wave offering you text the words you know CSC to 91694 if you have that um, QR code, you can do that if you're on our website, newlifesouthease.org. But everyone get a seed in your hand. I don't know who you are, but the Lord told me to tell you, he's been too good to you for to give him a dollar wave. Oh, my God. I hear him saying, don't insult me. Don't insult me. Only he knows how good he's been to you. Come on, everybody. Get your seed ready. Come on, stand to your feet. So this is how y'all gonna start it out, huh? And this is just the first week. Go in, sister, go further. <laughs> Don't nobody mess with her either. <laughs> Come on, listen, listen. So I'm warning you on Thursdays, we're gonna do worship on Thursdays. And some of y'all gonna have to make yourself come to Bible study. Some of y'all used to come. He says, I'm going to need you to get back into it. Because on certain Thursdays, we're flying in some worshipers. That's going to even take us higher and higher in worship. If this is one of your pillars, you have to invest in it. And we're going to invest in worship this month. Come on, lift your seat up. Let's just do what we normally do first. Repeat after me. I'm a tithe and a giver. And I am blessed beyond measure. I have more than enough. I'm living in my overflow. Come on, confess, I am living in Ephesians 3.20 for the rest of my life. Do me a favor. Now, everybody, do me a favor. Take your seat and just start waving it before the Lord. Close your eyes. Have a moment with God. Can you thank him for how he's been good to you? Come on, close your eyes. Have a moment. Have a moment. And you wave your offering before the Lord. This is for my house. This is for my family. This is for me and my children. You've been good to us. And I wave it before you, Lord. Before you. And it is so in Jesus' name. On your way out the building, if you have an envelope, you can place it in the deposit boxes to your right and your left. If you're here from out of town, I'll stand here for about seven minutes to greet you. I need you all to pray for me. I got to do one more, all right? I love you all. Consider yourselves dismissed.